Hi, this is Kevin Croke, head coach with UCD Rugby Club. In this series of interviews in conjunction with club sponsor Crow, we talk to past and present players who share their memories of the club and how it has impacted their career both on and off the field. In this interview, we catch up with UCD, Leinster and Ireland player Ross Byrne. Ross, you came into UCD having played uh, schools rugby in St. Michael's. Um, you'd also played some rep rugby at that stage. What influenced your decision to join UCD? Uh, I suppose the big thing was, was, was a good few of my friends, I suppose. Um, people like Ross Maloney, Nick McCarthy, Josh Murphy were kind of all thinking of going to UCD as well. And we kind of always played the whole way up together. Um, and then even ahead of us, um, um, McMahon had been there for a few years, um, people like Alex Kelly and then Rory O'Loughlin, Dan Levy, Bobby Holland. Kind of, so there was a lot of lads, I suppose, that had gone from Michaels into UCD. Um, so I suppose it was almost kind of just becoming a bit of a tradition almost that a lot of lads would just be going straight in. I suppose it's always when you're going into a new club and you're knowing a lot of people as well, it's going to be a lot easier. Um, so it was a big thing for me was UCD's only down the road for me as well. So I suppose it's, it's in my area as well. Um, I think the fact that they had so many kind of young, good players going from as well, kind of always thought they'd be pretty strong. And um, we always did have really strong teams. Probably should have had a bit more success than we did, considering the caliber of players. But um, it was a pretty easy decision, to be honest. When you joined UCD, you had a number of friends coming in um, and you were going to end up playing with players who you played against and, and guys you played in Senior Cup. Um, could you talk us through what that experience was like? Yeah, I suppose it was bizarre enough, to be honest. Um, I remember even Gary Ringrose. Um, so I played probably the Senior Cup final in March and then thought five months later we're playing on the same team. And we probably played a little bit of underage stuff for Leinster that summer. Um, but then you kind of, yeah, you're playing each other week in, week out. UCD. I mean, it's brilliant, really, um, because you don't know the lads that much, I suppose, when you're playing against each other in school. So then I suppose when you do get to play each other, you, you realise that he's actually an okay fella. <laughs> You're happy enough to call him a mate. Like. Um, so it was brilliant, I suppose, to, to play play with all the lads that you were playing against. And I think, to be honest, everyone's there really to, have, to win and to have a bit of crack as well. Like So I think um, the team just together pretty quickly. So did you play many years for UCD? Like how many seasons? So I played, play? I played one year of 20, 20s, um, played the full season, played... Probably doing 20 games that year. Um, and then I played two years of, of AIL. Um, second year was pretty, was a little bit more injury ravaged, um, but which is actually unfortunate because we actually got to the semi final that year, which we probably should have. Uh, well, Clantar for a good team at the time, but looking back, we had an incredible team on paper, I suppose. That was kind of one thing that probably a little bit almost hindered us sometimes at UCD was. With so many Leinster players that sometimes we didn't always, I suppose we didn't get the same preparation as as, as the other clubs because we wouldn't always supposed to get the same training time, um, yeah. Yeah. which probably only great excuse to make considering you you might have the best players. But it was actually I was only looking at a program the other day when I was thinking it, was, it could have been my first AL game actually um, against St Mary's I think, and I was just looking at the, the team or the the age of the profiles and like at the time it was like. Emma McMahon, Tom Fletcher, these lads are like all the oldest in the team, but like at the time they're only like 23, 24. <laughs> um, so I thought you don't realise back then, and then you, I suppose all the other clubs or most of the clubs are, they've got late 20s, 30 year olds who've been playing the AL for 10 years. So it does, as you say, make a huge difference. Um, and it's something we probably didn't, we kind of probably took a little bit for granted at the time. So you played one year at under 20s, two seasons with the, the first team. Was there any game that stands out to you as a particularly memorable one? Um, there was actually one game, yeah. It was in, we played Terranier away. Um, it was actually with the first. So in my under-20, Terranier had a really good under-20 side. They beat us three times, I think it was, over the course of the year. And anyone who knows playing in Terranier always knows what it's like. It's always a hostile atmosphere. And you think the ref is against you. You think the world is against you. Um, but I remember we went up there and we... It was actually around Christmas time. Um, that could have been the morning of the, the Christmas party, actually. <laughs> we went up there and we won with a bonus point, and it was it was just a phenomenal win. Um, I was kind of, I suppose, a little bit unheard of. No one really went to turn year and kind of won that well. And then obviously, needless to say, we did a great night as well. <laughs> what was it like having your brother join UCD? 
um, we were chatting to the ringers and, and to the pennies and they were kind of talking about their their brothers following them into the club and, and uh, I know Harry only came in I think for one year and then and then moved on but what was it like having him follow you into the club? Yeah, it was brilliant. I suppose he, he never even really had to think about it. I think I think he was just like, oh yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Um, we never actually got to play together, unfortunately. Um, but uh, it was brilliant. I think he, I suppose, even though he's only there for one year, uh, I think he likes to be able to fact that he says he, he was he is a UCD man. I suppose, which is all. It's always a nice thing, I suppose, as well for when I think if lads go to UCD and then they move on to another club, you can very much so say you're connected to both. Whereas, I suppose that probably doesn't happen if you're going from a Belvo to a Land's End type of thing. Um, I think that is always kind of a bit unique because it is a college um, and so it's always associated with kind of a young team kind of being together. 